Previously, we shared with you our journey to the USVI. We spent time on St. Thomas, including shopping in Charlotte Amelie, and enjoying views from the home of the banana daiquiri on the mountaintop. We then headed to St. Croix for a week of sailing, snorkeling, and adventure. Come along as our St. Croix adventures continue. After we arrived in St. Croix, we decided to head into Christiansted for a quick lunch before we explored Fort Christiansted. The tarpon hang around the boardwalk waiting for a free lunch, so we had to oblige. There are plenty of shops along the boardwalk and a highly sensitive and accurate weather station. We grabbed a table at Shoops, ordered burgers, and a round of cold ones to okay. toast our arrival. Cheers! Cheers. Cheers. I haven't had a burger probably for three months, and this is definitely a phenomenal burger, but my pickles are falling out. After lunch, we walked over to Fort Christiansvern, the oldest structure in Christiansted. The fort is a Danish colonial fortification that commands the Christiansted Harbor entrance to the north. The fort protected shipping from potential attacks by foreign invaders, privateers, and possibly pirates, enforced the collection of custom duties, housed prisoners, and quartered Danish troops. The fort was built with the labor of enslaved Africans and conscripted Danish soldiers. Construction began in 1738 and was largely completed by 1749. Get in there, woman. You've been bad. Oh, God, this is going to hurt my back. Don't get excited when we do that. Oh, Jesus. Like, seriously, okay. this is awful. Come awful. on, Ford. Honestly, come here. They, they actually put come. people in here? Yes. Put your face down. Come on. There you go. And let me out. Okay, perfect. We have the cannonballs here. Hmm, maybe this is where they kept the rum and munitions. Probably the munitions. Yeah, powder magazine. You can tell what my mind went with thinking of the rum. Of course, now if you were sitting here and you saw a bunch of Spanish galleons coming in, you may not feel like that, you know. Now the challenge is they got a narrow opening to come through. Right. Here you'd be watching. Spanish to be coming in. And preparing arms to prevent them from coming in. Fortunately, it looks like this poor guy over here. You can see the double mass. Sitting. Here we go with smaller munitions. Maybe some cannon shot there, fired out through these smaller cannons. Looking for the ships as they come through. We think of this as a beautiful view. I'm guessing the soldiers probably thought not. You would think being put into one of these cells would make a person not commit another crime. No windows, no ventilation only a little bit of a vent. Wow. You gonna go in the dungeon? I don't want to go in the dungeon. Oh, come on. It looks what, scary. Who did they put in the dungeon? Not very well. If convicted of serious crimes, such as setting fire to Keenfields or striking a white person, Civilian prisoners would be locked in the dungeon for years. Oh my God. Window was much smaller, only a nine inch square to let in light and air. At night, the trap door at the top of the stairs was lowered and bolted. Wow. So this, I think is where they put the really bad. They would lock you in. Bad. So at one point, this was the door. This is where you would have to stay. Yeah. yeah. 
I think this is like the general dungeon, and that is for the really bad people. <laughs> you can walk around the fort at your leisure. Although we tend to romanticize these old armaments, we can't forget the many souls that were sacrificed within these walls, whether in defense of the territory or imprisoned for breaking the law. So we decided to stop here at the Seaside Market Grill. Get some few supplies for the week while we're at the hotel. Aren't you guys cute? Well, that was a great relaxing night last night and just having a quick bite to eat, watch some firework people. I don't know what you call them, fire... Fire welcome. dancers, I fire guess. Fire dancers. Yeah. Um, so now is our big adventure here on St. Croix and we're going to go out sailing and snorkeling around Buck Island. So we're here downtown St. Croix where we're ready for our first day's adventure. Well, actually, our second day's adventure in St. Croix. We're going to be taking the Caribbean Sea Adventure cat here out. We're going to do a little snorkeling towards Buck Island. Around Buck Island. Around and, Buck Island. And to Buck Island. And to Buck Island. Looking forward to it. Hopefully we see a lot of fish down there. After checking in with Caribbean Sea Adventures, boarding the cat, and a quick safety briefing by Captain Kendall, we navigated through the crowded marina and set sail for Buck Island. <laughs> After about an hour or so of sailing, we tied off to a mooring ball and it was time to get in the water. The Buck Island Reef National Monument features one of only three underwater trails in the United States. Although we didn't see a lot of fish during our time in the water, Allie did capture a reef shark swimming by. and beach combing, so to speak, yeah. here at Buck Island National Reef Monument. So it's been fantastic so far. Yeah, so basically it comes out of Christiansted. Uh, we are on the full day tour, which is 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Mm -hmm. It's about a one hour um, motor slash sail. Right. Uh, we had to tack a few times to get here. And then they followed the channel markers um, around to the north um, east end of the island, and that's where we tied up to a mooring ball. And we did some fantastic snorkeling. Mm -hmm. They actually Beautiful have a they have a trail, so you'll your guide that. you'll see the trail, and you'll see that in the video. You just follow the trail around, and then you can kind of venture out. It's a pretty deep, core, you know, um, a reef. Oh yeah. And then from there, we came back around, and we're now at the beach just to kind of enjoy the beach and the water. Um, they do have a public restroom here. It's a National Parks one, right. so keep that in mind. They do offer day mooring balls. Day so mooring, can't, can't, can't stay overnight. You can't stay overnight. You'll be out by 4.30. You can anchor at the beach, but you 
can't be on the beach after dark right. as well. You so. have to follow, make sure you follow the channel markers. Right. They're very specific. It is very shallow here. This particular cruise with uh, Caribbean Sea Adventures, they offer pop water, um, I believe a rum punch on our way back. Mm -hmm. um, no lunch. So yeah, feel you free to bring your own food. Bring your own. Um, Kendall and Bethany. Kendall was our captain and uh, co-mate. Um, our first mate was, was Bethany. Bethany. Fantastic so, so far job. it has been a fantastic day. And the other thing is, is it rained and we had a huge squall on us and it really was raining. Yeah. So that's how, five minutes. that's how fast it comes and goes. So um, it has been a phenomenal day on the water and I highly recommend it. Soon enough, it was time to head back to Christianstead. We can't thank our crew, Kendall and Bethany, enough for such a fun day. Should we talk about your face first? Casper? We could probably start like that. I mean, okay, I'm gonna give you a word of advice. Right off the bat, if you buy sunscreen, here in the USVIs, and they have it all over the place. 50 SPF. Well, it's the same it's the same brand yeah. though. It's surf safe. Yeah. This is what you're gonna look like. It doesn't come off. It, can you give them a close up of what you're doing? But doing? I'm not burned. That's fine. So, but so it did a great but job. But now we're going out to dinner and you look like Casper. Well, there's nothing I can do about can that. Can you give babe. them a close up so we can see what you look like? Oh God. It's really in my eyebrows. It's all over your face. In my mouth Here, a little bit. Look. Let me show you. Turn your face. Yeah, see that? It's not coming off. So I don't know what that is. Like, it's on my back, which is great. It does a great job, though. But I couldn't wear what I wanted to wear tonight because my back looks like his face. Oh, well. Okay. On that note, though, we had a great day out on the water today visiting Buck Island. That was cool. Yeah. Kendall and... Um, Bethany. Bethany were fantastic and uh, we can't give more of a thumbs up to that crew mm -hmm. we were a little freaked out at first because it was a very small boat um, in the sense of we're used to a big party boat holds you know 50 people lots of coverage and there were only 12 of us on this boat mm -hmm. and actually it was perfect yeah it's perfect love the intimacy good of the weather boat. the weather was great we got to sail um it's a quick trip over to Buck Island, an hour. Yeah, an Don't hour. do the half day, do the full day. Mm -hmm. It's well worth it. I mean, it's like 20 bucks more a person, I think. Right. I don't know, but it's well worth it. And uh, tomorrow we have another sailing trip. We're mm -hmm. going to explore Frederick's Frederick Stead. Stead. Fred, Frederick Stead. A little bit in the morning. Um, we're gonna check out some forts. We might, yep. I'm not really quite sure what. We're kind of winging it. Yeah, we're kind of winging, winging it, it tomorrow. Um, Thursday's kind of our relaxing day. We'll do the lighthouse. We'll do some um, paddle boarding, yada, yada. So it's gonna be, yep. it has been a phenomenal trip. We much needed this. Yep, gonna go have a great dinner tonight with our friends and uh, we'll see you manana. Join us next time as we visit Point Udall the easternmost point in the United States, and find out if Mother Nature put a damper on our sunset cruise. As always, thanks for watching this video. If you like it, please give us a thumbs up, leave your comments down below, and please subscribe. We've got great adventures still ahead in our trip to the USVI.